started out on Reddit. Um, I started selling panties. <laughs> Nancy Reagan was the throat goat. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's like a big rumor. Yeah. That's a conspiracy. You know, I mean, if Hillary was throat goat, maybe she would have been president. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's true. How many of them are jealous that you're getting piped down by a monster hog? And they're like, yep, <laughs> I have to go to bed with Freddy tonight. I don't think there's anyone that's jealous. Everyone, actually, most of my friends, uh, yeah, most of them are all like happily married, about to have kids, already have kids. I think then maybe, they're like... definitely jealous. <laughs> Yeah, hello and welcome to the Working Perspectives Podcast. I'm Matt Lavelle. He's Jade of Justin Richardson. On the show today, we got the one and only B. York. Oh my gosh, was she awesome. Justin, your thoughts? She's fun. She's nice. She's not very tall, but she's very charming. And she leads with grace. Oh, super charming. All about the grace. Really fits the moniker of like... The, you know, the girl next door and the girl that could be everyone's girlfriend kind of thing. Like, she nailed it. Super funny, really open and honest with what she was sharing. Really, too, like, gets the jokes and was here yeah. to have fun. Down to earth, regular, yeah, so regular person. <laughs> yeah, and, like, nailed it. Totally nailed way. it. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, we we shot so we'll have a link in the description of this episode for her website. It's at bjork.com. We'll also have a link for her socials at ubyork uh, on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure you check all that stuff out, like and subscribe. But I don't want to take too much time. So without any further ado, I'm Matt Lavelle. He's Jade of Justin Richardson. Our guest today is the one and only B York, and this is the Working Perspectives Podcast. Enjoy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Working Perspectives Podcast. I'm Matt Lavelle. He's J-Dub Justin Richardson. Justin, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you a little bit about our guest today. Our guest today is the nerdy girl next door smut creator who is known for her award nominations, Bodacious TNA. Her infectious laugh, sense of humor, and style with her eclectic clothing and shoe collection have her fans going wild. Fans worldwide enjoy her nudes and countless homemade solos and girl-on-girl -girl adult clips, and they've helped her become the star she is. Recently, she stepped into the pro studio arena and has filmed multiple scenes for blush erotica and score that have been very well received. Our guest scored the cover and feature in the Karma edition of MV Mag in 2019. In 2022, she won Female Clip Artist from the x -Bivs Cam Awards. She's also received many stellar nominations, including Best Female Clip Artist from the x -Bivs Cam Awards three years in a row. She's been Clip Artist of the Year from the x -Bivs Awards twice, Favorite Indie Clip Star twice, and most spectacular boobs and favorite creates creator site star from the AVN Awards. Best fandom clip artist from Bazawi. And she awards social media star on multi platform master from the YNOT Cam Awards. Best ass from Fleshbot Awards. Best premium social media star from All Star Awards. Gravacious performer of the year from the Cami Awards. And two from Pornhub Awards recognizes her infamous physique. For best chest and fan voted nicest titas. Uh, when our guest isn't filming content, you will find her enjoying a craft beer, reading Tom Clancy book or fantasy fantasy novels, shopping or indulging in sci-fi, Star Wars, and Star Trek, and keeping up with everything in her universe by following her on uh, on her Instagram at ubyork. Find out about her more on her website at bjork.com, which will be in the description of this episode. Without any further ado, please welcome to the show the one and only B. York. B, how are you? Good, good. How are you? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i pretty exhausted after that. Let me tell yeah, you. Actually, yeah, we're out of time. 
We're gonna yeah, have to go. That was... I'm sorry. Golly. So uh, that was a the... mouthful. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, that's not what she said, by the way. Just letting you know. I know. <laughs> All right, but either way, uh, B, thank you so much for being on the show. How are things? How are you? Good. I'm really happy to be here. So thank you for taking the time to have me. Hey, anytime. So just want to shout. Recently, like we said in the intro. Uh, you made your score debut on the XL Girls site with three new scenes. Is that correct? Yes. Um, it so, was my yeah. Go ahead. First dabbling in pro pro uh, um, work. Pro shoots. It, yeah, pro shoots, and it was pretty exciting. That's fun. So the titles I see are a smashing time with B York, and then B York: the sexual power of gingers, and B York: meet your new girlfriend right yes man i mean those all sound fantastic did you uh so it says you did two boy girl scenes and a solo the boy girl scenes was it different male performers on both of those scenes correct yeah different performer yeah. each time cool and how was it working with them it was really good um it was the first time that i've actually filmed with male talent um mm -hmm. and yeah it was i was pretty nervous but uh, both filming partners were really nice and very respectful. Um, so it was smooth and it was fun. That's great. You know, plus to like, you're, you do like you, you do, you're pretty well known for your solo stuff. So that was kind of like, you were going to, you would do that regardless. So to shoot that with score was, you know, something, it was just kind of like the elevation of your, of your content. Right. Yeah. It's something that I had been thinking about for a while. And so, um, I was happy that score reached out and wanted to work with me. I felt like that might be a good, a good company to, to make my debut with. So yeah, I was, I was Did... nervous and yeah. excited. <laughs> yeah. That's fun though. That adds to it, right? You know what I mean? Like that I think that's one of the appeals of getting into the adult industry is that like you have like a like a nervous excitement that keeps you going and it makes it fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh the when you shot the boy girl scenes, did you notice anything different like was there a lot like a huge difference, you know, besides maybe like the way the scene is choreographed and things like that, but did you were you like once you got into it, you're like, OK, this is just like kind of my normal life kind of thing. Or were you like, OK, I got to step up my game here. Um, I think that was a little bit of both. Like it was kind of surprising to me that it felt natural um, mm -hmm. and I really enjoy being on camera um, right. with someone else rather than me being, you know, just solo work. Um, mm -hmm. There was definitely like a lot of fun with that. Um, but then also it was kind of like, oh, wow, some areas I'm really out of shape and I should probably work on those. And like things that like, oh, I should probably work a little better on my improv and like be a bit more mindful of how I present myself on on camera as far as like angles and posing, because I've never had to think about myself when I'm with a male partner. Um, versus like a female partner or just filming myself. So it's a, it was a lot to like just kind of digest. Yeah. Do you have a favorite angle or pose that you like to shoot from? Uh, I personally like doggy style um, when my like ass looks really good. <laughs> Same. Um, That's yeah. my favorite to shoot. Yeah. Too. Right. My ass just looks incredible, you know. I, I believe it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when you got a wagon like I'm dragging, you know, <laughs> stuff not to look like, you know, pretty good. But either way, uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, so, okay, so you like doing doggy. That's your favorite one to shoot from? Yeah, I mean, just because I find it to be the most flattering. I also mm -hmm. think I look really good from, like, POV when I'm going down on someone. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, that's, that's just Justin does, too. Yeah. Get up, good <laughs> You uh, do? <laughs> no, I have like dopey. I got one that's kind of lazy and tired. But sure, I'm nice sure big, it still looks. Big brights looks cute. Do a little yeah, I'm sure it looks action. adorable. Yeah. Uh, when you say you're out of shape, what do you mean? Like, what kind of things? Like, like you just stamina. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're like, all right, guys, tag. 
I need a break here. Let's take five. <laughs> can, can we can we switch it back to doggy where I can do less work? Um, <laughs> I like to lay down again. I do not like being in a three point squat for fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that dude. was the hardest. Is the one where it's like reverse cowgirl and you're like essentially squatting. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was when I realized it was time to up my my gym game and start start going more often. <laughs> work I on mean, that cardio. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta edit out the noise your knees make when you bend down. <laughs> Stop! That's a real thing, okay? <laughs> I can only imagine my knees. It sounds like a, like oh. a crinkling uh, plastic wrap when I bend down. Dude, same. Every time I walk up the stairs, it's like a wall, an old wallet opening and closing. I'm like, oh my god, this is the worst. And like getting used to like the faces you make i assume like you have to be like cognizant of that you're like at all times you're like am i making a weird face dude i cannot imagine how stupid my face looks <laughs> right like it's gotta look so bad like thank god you know i mean whatever i'm not gonna say that but yeah my face has to look more, i mean like the sounds i make are in, in like moronic but the face just has to be atrocious golly <laughs> yeah uh yeah i mean i'm sure your faces look great don't worry don't about don't it. you know what don't church us up b all right we don't need it we know what we are but but no. yes so, okay. that was also something that was like realizing how like when you're just so focused on so many other things you like also like yeah. oh wait and also my face has to look good in this and like i have to like look like i don't know like a porn star what what kind of like what goes through your mind when you're like okay now i have to put on you know crouching tiger face or whatever it's called like what do you what do you think like blue steel or something like what's the deal uh i just try and like figure out where the camera is like angled and like what it might be perceiving um so normally when i film by myself i have like an actual little monitor so i can always check how i look but when uh -huh. you're like or like a studio you don't have that available so you're kind of going in blind um so just kind of being cognizant of like if it's angled here what is it capturing or if it's angled here like how is it making me look good yeah. so i'm not like making like weird face and like have like five chins or something in a shot which like when you're thinking about a million other things yeah. it's bound to happen but i like try and make that not the highlight <laughs> yeah 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 no hey i totally get it you know totally nice okay so that's great so like we said you had uh three new scenes that came out uh in your score debut on the xl girls site uh so make sure you check those out there'll be a link on your website which is bay or, or bjork.com and we'll have a link for that in the description of this episode uh you also your newest scene just came out on bush erotica vr uh and it's bjork Chris Cardio, the perfect wife, right? So talk to me about this. What's going on? Oh, uh, I I really loved VR a lot. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so fun. Um, I mean, it's definitely a different filming experience because okay. like you have to make eye contact with the, the camera like perfectly. Otherwise, um, you'll look cross-eyed. Um, but I don't know. I, I I I hope to do me more VR stuff because it was really fun. Um, That's and the I think, future too. Yeah, yeah. It's it's weird to think about, but that really is it. Like oh, totally. down the road, we're gonna have a lot more VR stuff. Um, ah, yeah, VR yeah. machines. Like you're not yeah. even gonna leave your house. So <laughs> the, the person holding the camera, they basically have a GoPro. Like what middle of the forehead? Where do they so, where do they keep it? what it actually is is like a camera set up like right in front of the male talent um i mean different places will do it differently but um in that instance yeah like so like the male talent has to like avoid like bumping into the camera while also being able to perform in the scene so like he he's a champ um oh, so totally. it's like just like right in front of him basically like, yeah and yeah depending on where it, or... they no, it's on. It's on like an extra, like a like a rig, like, like an arm. Yeah, and stuff. thank you. Yeah, like a boom pole. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was wondering how they would do it because, like, they they do now, um, like NBA games. You can wear the VR and it makes it look like you're sitting in that seat oh, that's live. Cool. So I, I guess they have a camera just in that seat, and anybody can log into it. So the same concept, like, if you're going to be POV 
but it's also VR. It has to be like interactive to the point where that person can look around at any time. Yeah, dude, yeah, it's a crazy concept. You know what's wild is that eventually this is what's going to happen. Your boiled Uncle Maddie's calling it right now. One VR is going to hit the streets and it's going to hit the streets hard, right? And then you're going to be able to buy the VR setup, kind of like you know, like if you're a drag racing setup or whatever it is, right? You can buy the VR setup where you get the headset and then you get a machine that simulates, you know, the old skaboosh, right? And on this machine, there's going to be a warning or it's going to come with like a preset function to shut down after so many ejaculations because <laughs> legit people are going to die from dehydration from over ejaculation. That's what's going to happen. I feel like that's the plot of so many movies. I mean, that's, I I mean, that's how, Justin's I biography. What, yeah, I think it's what happened in WALL-E is basically everyone got VR porn and they were like, let's just go to space and just... Just whack it out, baby. (laughs) Just yeah. Would you if so from a girl's point of view, I mean, from a guy's point of view, it's like VR porn, whatever the you know, what's the thing called? The fake Vijay. But yeah, uh, like a fleshlight. Fleshlight. Fleshbot. Fleshlight. But either way. So VR fleshlight on some kind of machine. You're good to go. What are we looking at from a girl's point of view? Like, what would you want from a VR experience? be? Oh, uh, that's really tough because I actually really like story. <laughs> so I think I, I really just want an immersive story. So um, you want a guy to like start a fight with you and then apologize <laughs> and admit that you were right and he was wrong and then pleasure you. Yeah, I would not be opposed. I mean, while that scenario is kind of like probably a little little problematic as far as like rom-coms and how they depict like you know ideal relationships uh hold on, that's, hold on. that's that's so, that's a story for another day so, so, b i i mean can we be honest for a second if a guy ab- apologized to you and admitted he was wrong and you were right you wouldn't be turned on right then I mean, it depends what the argument was about i mean it could be about anything true i'll tell you this it, it probably be wouldn't anything. have been it, it probably wouldn't have been his fault Whatever the argument was about. I like how but... that's where your imagination goes for the scenario. I'm like an 18th century pirate ship or maybe medieval <laughs> time. That's yeah. like arguing yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> Whatever the scenario, right. doctor's you know office. I'm not here to, to, you know, like shame your kink. <laughs> I mean, it it's wasn't fighting. my kink. I thought it was yours. <laughs> but, right. Fighting in the car on the way home from dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay let's That's keep the most immersive then. vr <laughs> yeah 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 all right the kids asleep shut up let's go yeah no talking <laughs> lights off right isn't that everybody yes no okay either way uh so like we said your newest scene is on bush erotica vr and it's available we'll have a link uh the link will be on your website bork.com which will have a link in the description of this episode highly suggest you check it out but i want to keep it moving i want to get to everyone's favorite segment i'm talking about the disputed questions uh b in this segment i'm gonna ask you some questions right i have my answers to this question which are correct and justin has his answers to this question which are wrong and you're a bad person if you agree with justin either way We're going to ask you these questions and to see where you fall. So, first question. What movie do you think is better? The Godfather Part 1 or The Godfather Part 2? What if I've never seen either of them? You'd be the thousandth person that hasn't seen either of them. I mean, there's lots of movies. Maybe maybe that's what I will watch tomorrow. No, it's all right. You you don't have 12 hours to watch. Hook or The Princess Bride? Oh, great question. Wait, uh, the movie Princess Hook? Bride. Oh, oh, Hook, Hook oh. or the Princess Bride? Princess Bride. I grew up Princess on that Bride. one more, more than I'll Hook. tell you. You know what I was talking about the other day? While our generation will always be tougher than the other generation coming up, is that think about this when we were a kid, we watched Rufio die. Okay, we Rufio, lived through that. Rufio, 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 right? We lived through him. And him saying that is one wish that he had a dad like Peter Pan, like come on. Oh, and then we saw Mufasa get it. You think these shitheads watching Moana are did gonna have to see... deal with that? Are you kidding did you... me? Did you see? Okay, Big but Hero's... Moana's amazing. 
<laughs> Moana's great, but no one died, right? Did you see Big Hero Six? There's five. Like there, wait, Max? there was five iterations of Big Hero, and then there's a sixth one. I think it's called Big Hero Six. You know what I'm talking about? It's like Beta Max. Yeah. It has that, that guy right movie? that like like the, he liked the cat, and he called it a like hairy baby or something. Dude, that movie made me cry. That his the I don't want to spoil it. You should watch oh, it, man. Yeah. It's good. Uh, it's what, good. Isn't it, what about Iron Giant? Remember Iron Giant? Remember I Brave Little Toaster? Oh, yeah. uh, oh Brave Little Toaster. These class- remember had, Homeward uh, Bound? Homeward Bound. Oh my God. I have. I have, a re- I have a rescue dog. Shadow. Oh, Shadow. Michael J. Fox. Dude, talk and about the score too. Chance. Do, do you chance. remember the score for that movie? Like an incredible. Right, like the best. I think it was. I think that was our boy. I think it might have been Jerry Goldsmith or John Williams. Either one, both fantastic. But Justin, I interrupted you. What were you saying? No, I was saying I have a my dog's like real skittish, and I call her my brave little toaster. Yeah, well, no one gives a shit about your dog. Either way, Beautiful. Matt doesn't like dogs. What a monster! Yeah, I mean exactly. I'm more of a cat person, but like you know, I'm deathly allergic to cats, so I don't like them either. Oh, okay then. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You want to keep talking about it? I told my daughter if she brought a dog, I'm gonna drown it in front of her. You, you gotta talk stop about telling that? people this. You gotta <laughs> let that it. go. Do not bring a dog in my goddamn house. Tell you that right now, four year old. You want traumatic? We'll get traumatic. All right. Uh, either way, no winning anyone over. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> don't don't bring a dog over here. Tell you that. Uh, next question B. When it comes to eating Cheetos, are you crunchy or puffed? Oh, I love puffs. Yeah. Wow. The puff essence is back on. What is going on? I mean, I like a good crunchy one, but like a puff is just so like nice and you know, anti like, crunchy. Do you, but... do you prefer the doodle or the ball? The what? The cheese ball. The cheese ball. Or like oh, the doodle, which is or like the, the hot the dog. Doodle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I would probably say the doodle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. do some doodle. I mean, we always love a doodle over a ball. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Story of my yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean. Uh, oh, yeah. What? Go ahead. The balls need attention, too. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You nailed it. Dynamite dropping, B. Uh, okay. Pancakes or waffles? Uh, it depends on my mood. Mm, very true. I'm like 50-50. You gotta pick mm-hmm. one, and you can never have yeah. the other again. Yeah, eggs Benedict. <laughs> oh, Dude, I love a eggs good Benny. eggs Benny. I love a good eggs Benny. I went to I this don't place. Like... Go ahead, sorry. No, you can go ahead. I was gonna say because it's probably exactly what you're about to talk about. I don't like when people fancy up eggs Benedict. I just want reggie eggs Benedict. I don't want a crab cake on there. I don't want <laughs> salmon on there. <laughs> I just <laughs> want English muffin. Uh, pork roll, <laughs> Canadian bacon, however you want to do it, poachy <laughs> egg, and then give me the hollandaise Pochi. sauce. So, Justin, I'm literally going to say the opposite. Where the <laughs> other day I went to a place where they had a Cajun style eggs Benedict, where it was over cornbread and it had like andouille sausage and shrimp, and like it was so effing good. And yeah, and you know, that's how it goes, you know. That I'd kill amazing. a dog. I'd kill a dog for that fucking egg. <laughs> All right. I've got to well, stop the dog yeah, death stuff. Okay. We're done. done. We're done. We're done with the like, dog death like... stuff. Okay. Yeah, I just usually bring that up when you make fun of me. I can always have that in my back pocket. I'm like, Matt hates dogs. <laughs> Man, what are you going to do? You got to figure right. that out on your own. Over yeah, well, that's going to be It does cut. sound good. It was, dude. Especially, too, because they, like, gimmicked up the cornbread where they fried it, you know, so they had, like, a crispy outside. It was pretty good. Oof. Not going to lie. Oof. Shout out Turning Point. Fan of the show. Listen to the show. Um, okay. Let's keep it moving, then. Uh, next question after that. Who do you like better, Chevy Chase or Bill Murray? Oh, wait. Oh. You didn't say pancakes or waffles? Uh, it's it's an <laughs> or French yeah, toast. I... Oh, French toast, then. All right, fine. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Chevy Chase <laughs> or Bill Murray? Um, probably Bill Murray. Yeah, 
of course. Bill I mean, I grew up with Chevy Chase, and and he's been a, a you know an important part of my my youth. But I do like me some Bill Murray. When you say your youth, be, be you look like you're like twenty two. Like oh, you okay. just had your well, you just had your birthday. How? I mean, I'll cut it. I won't air it. But how old are you? Oh, you can air it. I just turned thirty six. Wow. Oh, nice. You're age. I'm thirty eight. Yeah. Thirty nine. I'm an old man. The old. old man, so old. Hence why all uh, our knees make noise when we squat. Down. Yeah, I was just gonna say, explains a lot. Crickety. Oh, uh, okay. So then, next question: When it comes to an amusement park, what or a theme park? Do you like amusement park or water park better? Oh, amusement park. I want roller coasters. Yeah. Yeah, see, you're not a communist either, which I love. Uh, <laughs> and then the last question, and probably the most important question you'll ever be asked. When it comes to eating wings, are you drums or are you flats? Um, I mean, I enjoy either, as sure. long as they are bone in. Um, right. you're, so, you're so nice. You're like, I don't want to upset either side of the chicken wing. No, I mean, I will eat them all, but (laughs) I would say that the best, like, traditional, like, wing flavor, like, you're getting the best bite out of, out of the actual wing and not the drumstick. Like, it's good, it's meaty, but, like, I feel like you get more mm, tasty. She's a flatman, Justin, she's a flatman. She's a flatman. Well, I'm not happy with it, B. I'm not happy with it at all. Not at all. Well, that was disputed questions, and you did okay. You didn't finish well. Tell you that. You did okay, though. Um, let's keep it on moving on, moving down the road. We're going to head to everyone's other favorite segment. It's time for J-Dub's questions, B, where Justin here, he's going to ask some questions, and you can answer if you would like. But if you want to tell him to shove, you can do that, too. Either way, Justin, go ahead. Take it away, my good sir. Who's the most famous person you ever met? Oh, uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Ever, like, uh... I mean, are there any famous people in Seattle? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't go around meeting them, I guess. Did you ever get anyone in your DMs? Uh, No, not not that I'm aware of. Not yet. No way. I mean, not that, no, no. I mean, I also, yeah. No, I don't think I've gotten anyone, anyone famous in my DMs. Um, But I also don't check them that often. Smart. Um, Me either. All yeah. those news. I mean, it is true. Other than sports athlete, like I don't know. Like I met Donovan McNabb and I've met Brian Westbrook, both football McNabby. players. My brother met the uh older guy from uh Everybody Loves Raymond. What's his name? Brad Garrett in an elevator. Oh, uh, the brother? Went, yeah. Uh. Like, hey, are you that guy? And he went, Yeah, I'm that guy. And he went, cool. <laughs> that voice. All right. Uh, no famous people? No. I have, but I just I, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. I saw Steph Curry's dad in a Bojangles in North Carolina. Del Curry. I mean, that's exciting. How do you know it was him? Because he was like six foot eight and he looked like Del Curry. <laughs> you don't have to get mad. Just Sorry. Mad. <laughs> uh what you have a favorite conspiracy theory? Um no. No. <laughs> There's a layer of water above the earth. It's called a ferment. And we've never been to space. And the earth's flat. And I don't like this one, but a lot of people say Michelle Obama has a penis. Um, that one's true. Was a I, knew, I found that one out personally. Um, there's so many good ones. Paul McCartney died and like they replaced him like after the second Beatles album. Have you heard I of guess this? the so only wasn't... one that, that counts would be like Tupac still being alive. I like that. Maybe... Yeah. yeah. Well, if you figure by this time, like, if he really was, like, unless he's just never going to reveal it, like, people always said Elvis was still alive. Just enjoying retirement. Yeah, he's got to be like 60 by now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Being retired. You got to, like, he come, must be uh, having a great yeah. time. He's got to pop out one time, be like, I told you, and then, then disappear again. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, do you remember the story of Ricky Tiki Tavi? The story of a mongoose fighting a cobra? Yes. You yes. do? Yes. Yes. Nobody remembers this. Wasn't it awesome? Was it? It was animated. We watched it in school. <laughs> it's not like really a question, but nobody ever remembers what I'm talking about. It was awesome. I loved it, and I think of, I'm deathly afraid of snakes, and I I think about Ricky Tiki Tavi all the time when I want to be brave. 
Yeah, like wasn't it the whole thing that he was protecting this kid and this the kid like was initially like the family was mean to the mongoose or something. And then I don't I don't remember. I know he was protecting the kid. And it was He's like great. this whole tale about like, yeah. Tale as old as time. Fights cobras, the scariest snake there is. Yeah. All right. Uh just quickly gonna go to, did you watch Blue Eye Samurai? Oh, so good. Mm, no. It's on Netflix, it's an anime kind of do right. you like anime? Uh, I've started getting into it. Oh, Primal is a must watch. Fantastic show. You it's watch on uh, HBO Max. That one's good. Do you watch uh or do you play video games? I'm really bad at them, so I don't do much more than like Animal Crossing. <laughs> I have an interest in that. I, I, even that one kind of frustrates me. So <laughs> I don't know. You heard, if I know uh, that game. It's like yeah, it's like a kind of like the Sims, but like with animals on an island. Yeah, Chilling. and you like owe money to this this was he, he's a bear? Or is he <laughs> right? He's he's a bear. You have to pay your taxes and, and, uh, on the island? Uh you don't have to pay taxes, no, but you constantly owe um owe money. Sounds like a like a mafia setup. It comes yeah. I mean, it's not. It's yeah. It's not. It's, well, you get to live on this island, so yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Well, you gotta pay to play. Have yeah. you the the? I was with my uh, my buddy's kid over the weekend. Have you heard of this Lego thing where they build in the bag? What? Like uh, like a uh, building a ship in a glass bottle. The some of the Lego pieces come in like bags now, like the cheaper little model kits. They're small. Um. They, they people will build them in the bag without opening it. Oh, that's that impressive. Is so weird. Yeah. yeah, I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah." I had a I had a nine year old explaining this to me, and I was like, "That's crazy." <laughs> and then I was like, "It's like building a ship in a bottle." And he looked at me like, "What?" I was like, oh, "You're, you're <laughs> not gonna get crazy. that reference." <laughs> Why would you suggest that a ship in a bottle? That makes no sense. It's like, yeah, moron. What who would ever do that? No one ever talk to me. <laughs> building lego sets and bags uh do you have a dream car um i mean i, I don't know i think I, I don't know something nice uh, actually yeah i probably want a tcan tie can the porsche suv yeah uh no tycan? it's, it's long, yeah it's tycan i'm so bad with yeah no, i know what you're talking it's, about it's the long one it's got a nice butt on it and it's the electric car oh it's the you and nice car butts, like the sedan huh? Yeah, I think it's a it, sedan. Otherwise, it was it's a panorama. Yes, uh, would, I would I wouldn't mind a panorama, but I, um, I do see the uh, the similarity in the. Yeah, they got if nice you look, butts. Yeah, if you look at the back of that car, you'll see exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, uh, B. Do you have any questions for me? Um, no, not that I can think of. But I'm also really bad at asking questions. You said you have to work on your your improv on your uh, in your scenes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need to work on my you know and then like whatever. Very fun. It's all good. You think it's you're doing nice. a great job, B. So very good. Let's keep it on moving on. Keep it on moving down the road. That was J Dub's questions. Excellent job, J Dub. B. Thank you for answering those. Uh, but I want to keep it moving. I want to talk about you, B York, the one and only. So. B, let's chat. Let's talk. Let's go over this a little bit. Uh, want to get to know you. So, how long have you been in the business? I'd say about eight years, I think. Okay. Maybe. And yeah, eight and a half now. What prompted you to start? I started out on Reddit. Um, I started selling panties. Wow. You sold yeah. your used panties? Yeah. Did they have to like but did they have to have like pictures of you wearing the panties or anything? Yes. Yeah. And that's kind of what led to like selling pictures and um then I started like sexting online. Um and kind of eventually it evolved to like, oh, could you make this movie for me and make it like just like this, 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 and this? And then Oh wow. Yeah, it just kind of Escalated. Eight years ago, too. That was way before like the OnlyFans rush. So you've been yeah. at this for a little bit. What were you using yeah. before OnlyFans? 
Um, so many of it is, uh, was a popular clip site. And before that it was like all more person to person. So it was just back when I could use, um, like cash app and, and things to accept payment. Um, uh -huh. yeah, simpler times before yeah. all that. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. So, okay. So I just want to unravel this a little bit. Um, you wear, you'll wear some panties. Do they have a preference? Or are they asking for like thong, boy shorts, granny panties? Does it not matter? Uh, usually they have a preference, so I would have a variety of things to oh. choose from. Okay. What was what was the most common one? Um, I would say it's split between like a bikini style, um, like all cotton, or like a thong. Guys are creeps uh okay so then i'm kidding uh uh okay so then you would wear you would wear them and like take a picture of you wearing them so they had proof that you yeah. wore them and but then I'd take you like would, a like... few cute pictures right Make sure obviously it's not, not a, a hard thing to do it's like a newspaper with a date <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's a lot less unsexy or a lot sexier than, than that <laughs> So, okay, so you take, like, a few cute pictures in the undies, and then you'd send them the pictures in the undies? I would send the pictures online and then send the underwear. Wow. How much would one of these go for? Uh, when I first started out, um, I think I was selling them for, like, $35. Wow. So how much did the underwear cost? Like, 10 bucks was... or something? Well, it was stuff that I had before, like old okay. old laundry. So it was something. Oh, they that probably I was like that even better. Yeah, I, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's a good okay. way of spring cleaning your wardrobe too. Yeah, how that's about it? actually how what prompted it is. I was I was cleaning out my wardrobe and I was selling a lot of my old clothing, and then I came across all this like underwear and I was like, oh, this is such a shame to like toss it because there's nothing else I can do with it. And I was like, oh, but there is. Yeah, there always You're is. Buy this. Excellent. And and they did. Did can you have an idea of how many you sold? Like a lot? Um, since I started, I know that I've sold about 150 pairs. Nice. Damn. I don't think I've had 150 pairs of underwear my whole life. <laughs> Golly. Uh okay. So, well, good for what you, about, B. What about socks? People ask yeah. about socks. I've what never they, had luck selling socks. Lots of people do. What about do. feet? Um, you sell your I, feet? I, I, I don't you sell my feet. Body. Yes. I, yeah. <laughs> I I mean, don't you'd sell. have to offer me a lot of money for one of my feet. Right. I mean, <laughs> I mean but I there is a there is a price for your foot, though, Justin. Uh, definitely. Yeah. A yeah. billion dollars? I don't think you can less. nail it, though. You'd be less. You'd be way less for a foot. My foot? Do I get a robot foot? Yeah, we'll throw in a robot foot. Well, I mean, so it's a billion dollars and a robot foot, or you would just spend your billion on a robot foot? That's the thing. I don't want to have to pay for my new foot. That could get pretty pricey. Less than a billion? What are they going to do I with would, my I foot? I would say the foot's, the foot's included. Are they going to do sex ask. stuff with my foot? Yeah. Probably. You're not allowed to ask. It's part of the thing. B never asked where her undies went, even though they That's all true. went to a soup. And they all went to the same <laughs> I've guy. Heard, I have, yeah, I have heard that tea... So, yeah, <laughs> dang! I thought you were joking. You said soup. That's wild. All right, so hey, okay. I'm not here to judge. I'm no, <laughs> yeah, none not, of us, none of us are. But if you're brewing, un, you know, thong tea, you got you got stuff going. So okay, all right. So you started off. So be like you said, you started off selling undies, and you were nailing it, right? And then the undies are going good, but they're like, hey, the undies are cool, but we want to see you in action. So then it that escalated to nudes. Is that right? Uh, well, so it escalated it... To, to sexy. And part of while this is going on, I'm posting on Reddit to kind of build like a fan base. So I would have more people yeah. that wanted to buy my my underwear. Um, so yeah. as I, you know, build my popularity. Um, I was offered to, like I said, sexting um, and custom videos. And then eventually I had enough videos to sell. So I put them on a clip site. Nice. All right. So then, well, hold on. I'm, I'm interested in the sexting thing. Do you have like, like, is it just like stuff you think of like, or, or, or play like off of them, like what they like or? 
Oh yeah, like, it's okay. Yeah, uh, I mean for Would me, you it say was you're very, pretty good. Very... <laughs> I'm very good when uh, it's for work. I'm very awful when it's just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm super awkward and <laughs> never know what to say. It's like a chef right. who can't cook at home. He's like, I don't know. I just I get here in the house and I, I don't know how to make eggs. Right. Kind of, Involving. actually. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So sexting and then from sexting went to nudes, right? Yeah. To Well, to videos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you, you and what kind of videos are they like solo things or? Yeah. It was okay. just, well, it started off with solo masturbation, and then that led to solo masturbation, but with, like, a, a little bit of a plot, and then people realized that I'm actually really good at the plot. Um, Ooh. Yeah, I'm actually really good at improv when it's just me filming. Okay. That's um, good. I didn't mean to say you were bad at it, though. No, I, no, I, no I'm actually really bad being put on the spot. Um but like when mm. I have time to like do multiple takes, then, so what kind <laughs> then I'm of, good. Yeah. What kind of scenario? What was your favorite scenario you came up? I was with? just gonna ask. Yeah, what, what's the plot that hit the most? Is it, uh, is it arguing in the kitchen with your spouse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I need to write it down because I'm gonna use that. I know. One watch something. this beat. This will end up being it's like you're gonna your, be a uh, hit, <laughs> dude. Tell me we all haven't had like angry sex and it's not the best. Come on. No. <laughs> all right. So we all don't just like bidding, you know. All right. Whatever. Fine. I'm the only one that's mad, apparently. Great job. I'm glad you guys are living such happy lives. And I'm the only one that's angry. Okay. Listen, yeah. the purple unicorns lost eight to one. Okay. It's a bad game. Yeah, but I'm sure it was hilarious. I mean, them I'm scoring on their own. For goal. them, yeah. it might have been for the other team. Maybe not for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. I mean, you, you love yelling at kids, you know, it's great. It's great. I must sound like a monster. I yell at kids and I drown dogs, right? <laughs> right B? Is, that what, is that what you're thinking right now? Like, this guy's wild. Yeah. First off, I've never drowned a, a dog, okay? I've never done it's it. I fucking okay? hope not. No, nobody has to normally say that out loud. Most people, it's assumed <laughs> that I have not drowned any animal. Yeah, right. well, I'm just letting you know. No animals have been drowned by me. Okay? <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Crisis averted. Okay? She, she didn't want to upset the drumstick community by picking a side, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like, dog she's all, she's, <laughs> she's, all, she's all on board about the dog drowners. All right? They need to be dealt with. Uh, but either way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, we're all on the same page with that, guys. We're not drowning dogs here. Okay? <laughs> Nobody Say, said anything about drowning dogs. <laughs> all right, teach these dogs to swim. Uh, who's with me? You know, let's go. Either way, um, B, what yes. we were talking about before was a fa favorite plot or kind of storyline that you did. What do we got? Are you familiar with like Reddit community? Like, Somewhat. like memes and things? Okay, I still so, have not learned how to look up porn on Reddit, but I really wow, want it's to. like Look, really easy missing. to find porn on Reddit. What the like, fuck? You can even how just am I type missing this? NSFW subreddits, and it'll like pop up with a whole list of porn what? subreddits. I just I can't read it. Google I just is don't your know friend. How to read. You you just go on okay. your phone. Old. I just don't know how Reddit. to read Reddit. Like, what do I? It's so many things. You go to the old website. You don't use their app. You don't use their new Reddit. It's weird. And I've been saying that for years, but oh, I don't use a, any of it. Call me a boomer. Reddit is. Call me old. I know what you mean by like I don't. I use Reddit pretty much strictly for porn, but uh, all the other stuff like I try to like follow. Like I'll like God of War came out and like I followed the Ragnarok page, but like you're right, man. Like it's like. It follows down in a line, but then like some people's bump up out of time, and I'm like, I don't understand how to read this. And people get gold, and and uh, you get like oh, a birthday yeah. cake on your birthday. Yeah, but it's not it's explained anywhere. Well, that's just part of the community. You just have to be <laughs> there long enough to learn. I'm just there for like eight minutes. Oh well, if that's all it takes. <laughs> I just don't get. I mean, I just don't get it. I just what do I type in NSFW and and then. Type in, in NSFW411, then... and then it'll take you to a page. <laughs> and then that dude has oh, just man. a monster list. 
And if you can't find something there, it might be drowning dogs for you that you might be masturbating to because <laughs> everything is there except for that. There's, yeah. So there's a look at the cartoon right ones just for funsies. I don't like, like how they always make it. Yeah, but I don't know why they always make it like um, incesty. Like, oh, it'll be because like, incest like is very popular. It's like the top search thing. What is 411? It's like the, the down low, you know? It's the. I don't know why I said that like I was a 60 year old man. It's the down low. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would have said it. Uh, all right. Either way, we got way off topic. So, B, we did. again, what okay. what is the most searched thing? The most searched thing? Like, in porn no, no. in general? or No. Like, what was the most normal plot that you would do? Oh, uh, well, the most popular one um, is probably, like... Like this coworker, this big titty coworker is actually like super horny for you. And like, this is like just coming out of quarantine. So it's like, oh, we finally get to hang out. And then like, she's like very like suggestive. And I, yeah, I don't know why, but that video does like, so well. Oh, like, I gotta go back titty. in the office. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think she come like you come over to her place because you needed to finish your report and like not everyone is quite back at the office yet. I forgot all the particulars. The best part is that was a custom video from a really good customer of mine. And I just like anytime you want to give me a custom video, like if it's gonna sell that well. Oh, do you so if I order if you order a custom video and then like it goes on the website for everyone else to see as well, or can you like (laughs) I offer like exclusive videos, but like if it's a really good idea, I will encourage you to let me like resell that idea because like what? if it's you know, other people and a lot of people do appreciate like, oh, my idea was so good that like other people are going to get off to it. Yeah. Do you have a lot of regulars like uh, returning yeah. customers? Okay. I would say 50% of my fans have been there like for maybe five plus years. And then, like, the other half was just, like, a rotation of people who just discovered me. Wow. So you've had guys that have been, like, diddling themselves to you for a while. Yeah. And then that's, like, good for you, you know? (laughs) So, wait, have they they been the ones with, like, the outcry for you to go pro and, like, do, like, a boy-girl scene? Um, it's been pretty mixed. I would say... The, there was a very small vocal minority that was like super like when are you going to do it when are you going to do it and I would be like never fuck off um, <laughs> oh. but then like I wanted to do it on my own terms and then everyone else was like super super supportive with like a very small portion of people that were like preferred me you know as a solo creator why were they why would they be so against it um, because I built my brand on being very obtainable and not a porn star. Um, I'm like oh. your cute girl next door that could be your girlfriend. So like and once you take that like like story out of it to like, oh, she's mo- a more traditional porn porn person, um, you know, like the novelty where it kind of wears off a, a little bit to some, to some. For the most part, oh. everyone has been so supportive um, and and are so excited to see me in action <laughs> <laughs> so you get your squats in huh yeah uh... hear those knees creak yep all righty <laughs> so very cool all right well that's fun okay so you oh, wait, do we start... get the actual answer to that what was your favorite plot that you came up with for those oh the funny one that i was gonna say is okay if you've <laughs> ever heard if you're on reddit long enough which apparently you guys don't know um there's like this whole story about how this person owes Loch Ness Monster three dollars and fifty cents, but That's it always South goes. Park. But keep going. Yes. I'm sorry. Well, it goes deeper into like okay. the realms of like... of Redditdom. I'm glad you. Loch Ness Monster owe me about tree fifty. Yep. Yeah, that's what it is. Um. So yeah, that's like a running joke, and then so I created a story about how this like cute little schoolgirl owed the Loch Ness or ran into the Loch Ness monster and owes him three fifty, and because she doesn't have three fifty, she <laughs> has to of course put out naturally. Obviously, duh. Yeah. 
Who hasn't seen that story a million so, times? Was a lot right? of response for a, a, a generous lover? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was satisfied. Lachnis Monster, a generous lover. Lachnis Monster will meet you <laughs> fitty. <laughs> what is it? Chef's parents, right? I think it's Chef's mom owes the Lachnis, or Lachnis Monster owes Chef's mom. That's awesome. $3.50. All right. Nice. I'm here All for right. It. Nailed it. Hey, killing it, B. Killing it. Love it. Okay. So let's keep it moving then. So you, so you're eight years ago, you start, like, what was the reason you started though? Like, did someone, was someone just like, hey, you got the, you know, you got that big titty with that matching ass. And they're like, all right, <laughs> why don't you jump in on this thing? Like, what's going on? Uh, well, I mean, it was because I had all that lingerie and I was just do researching, like, what can I do with this to like, give this lingerie a good home and so i found reddit which told me how to sell underwear what kind of like job were you doing before this were you like i mean are you uh, comfortable to say uh, i worked in retail oh so all right like we've had people on the show before that were like i was a stripper and all this stuff and whatever but honestly that probably adds to your like your gimmick more that you're like, no, I was just working in retail and I had all this yeah, underwear and I just wanted to well, get rid of it. I worked in fashion retail. So like style and things like nice, you know, clothing has always been a part of who I am. So it was just a natural transition that, you know, I'm a very, do you, do you find that that's like part of your personality that like, you like to have like the eclectic clothing style and things like that? Like what kind of things do you, do you build like your like you like to build your own outfits kind of thing? Uh, well, I have no skills there. I'm much better at just buying expensive things. Um, wow. so I'll always, yep. you know, like in my work, I'll always have like designer heels. Um, and I try and buy a lot of like higher end lingerie. Um, and I especially love um small like boutique brands, uh, where stuff is like custom made for me. Um. Which I think is like a good balance of like I've always appreciated high fashion before, um, and where, still do. Where do you think that love comes from for like the want and need for like higher end clothing and higher end things like that? Um, watching The Devil Wears Prada and Confessions of a Great Shopaholic bit. as a kid. Yeah, <laughs> or I guess reading the books as a kid because I think they came out in early adulthood on movie. Um, I'm a sucker oh, for man. good packaging. Like, especially, like, expensive clothes and, like, all that stuff. Like, half of it is, like, this is a really nice box. Or, like, it comes in, like, in a box, in a bag. And, like, I'm, like, opening the shoes. I'm, like, this is a nice bag. The tag is nice. I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm like, color me impressed. I haven't even got to the item yet. And I I enjoy this packaging very much. Right. You're already it's like sold a Christmas on this. present. Yeah, yeah, they've already won me over just by how nice the box. Like, sometimes I'll have, like, metal, clat, like, you know, like, the box will kind of have a snap to it. And I'm, like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I'm gonna throw magnetic, this away. Like, boop. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna throw no, this I, away, but I really enjoy it. I use a lot of boxes for storage, so like then you like, Same. oh, I bought this nice thing, and also I can use this for like knickknacks and like you know. Like... I, yeah, I'm just saying I have so many Jordan boxes that I use for different things. Like, what? What? So wait, when you say you like to buy shoes, though, is it? Do you like to buy sneakers or like high heels? <laughs> uh somewhere in between is a little obsession that i have with designer sneakers um so like balenciaga like, sneakers actually i do not have a pair of those and i'm like like i like trying to tell myself i don't need a, they're I, weird like especially like they're the... so big and like they have that arch and louis vuitton also make like that whole like giant ass shoe with like the like it's like a moon uh, shoe for yeah. like a better way to explain it i mean i like it and i'm kind of i still want a pair but like do i want to give in to a gimmick that's like gonna like be out of style in hopefully like five years <laughs> Yeah. Or I'm going to buy these like nice Chanel sneakers or like these Gucci sneakers that are like super classic and cute. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. But also hurt your Smart. feet if you wear them too long. I mean, you know, but, you know, that's the price of beauty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I find too, like if you line up, uh, if you line up like five plain black t-shirts, I have a good knack of being like, that is the most expensive one. 
like and even if it's the opposite where like i'm picking stuff out like for myself it'll be like i like that one and they're like that one's 700 dollars. like i don't like that one i like that one <laughs> that one's also like 500 dollars. dude so yeah, yeah I, we go to like not Nordstrom's, but uh, what's it, Nina Meyer Marcus or whatever that's Nina Marcus, Nina yeah. Marcus, yeah, yeah. Nina Meyer. That one. And, uh, <laughs> I got like the store brand sweater, and it was like I brought it to the register. I was like, I just want this, and they were like, it's one hundred and thirty dollars. I was like, I don't want that. I'm putting that back. <laughs> like, well, yeah, because it's probably cashmere. Yeah, well, I didn't know, but I was like, I'm leaving this store right you now. Can feel it. It feels like cashmere. You know what I've been spending money on as far as clothes go? I've been upping my jeans game. You know Muggsy, Muggsy jeans. Been doing them. I got them like and then Yeah. They feel like they're like I got fat really recently. Good. I need stretchy. All my jeans are tight uh, as well. And I can dude. see the lining in the pocket in my thigh now. Uh, I mean, that's a look. It could be very hipster of you. No, because I'm all my other like my shirts are baggy and now my pants oh. are really tight. And so oh, you, need it's to, like, you need a tight button up with like, yeah, I look little... like a upside down bowling pin. Yeah. I That's mean, a look. I was wearing that it's today. It's not a good look. Oh, it's yeah. really fine. I mean, I nailed I did. Th- you're going to love this outfit, B. This today at the office. Yeah, I work in an office. No big deal. Um, but I had Muggsy jeans that were pretty a little tighter on the tighter side. A little but, you slim. Know, was showing off the back porch. No big deal. And then I had a button-up shirt, right? And it was like a button-up. So they were black jeans, and it was like a dark green and light green button-up shirt. And then I had tan boat shoes. And let me tell you, your boy was crushing it. <laughs> yeah. I'm so there you go. It. Yeah, Except off is chic. No big deal. Are, are boat shoes still a thing? I mean, if you're a dad, they are. It is what oh, it okay. is. Okay. okay. And it's also, it's in an office. So, you know. Okay, but, yeah. but not a boat, not no. like a like a like a little summer party, like beach party. Not, but you got your no. Beach. You know, it's fine. It's fine. You wear you my socks. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed. Am I not to. supposed to? Yeah, you're not. Yeah, you're not supposed, you're supposed to. to cuff no. your pants. Well, so you can fine, guys. I'm. You know what? Now I'm gonna burn them. All right. <laughs> you know I mean, that's fine. We're burning the shoes. Okay. It's all right. We're done. It's, it's okay. See, you go. No, over it's the not board. okay. You know, it's not okay. All right. How about I drown the shoes? You want me to drown yeah. the shoes? You're going to drown the shoes? I'm going to drown the shoes. We're drowning the boat shoes. You got to okay? relax, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can get the no show socks. You can still wear oh, socks. Yeah. I like those, except they always roll down and get like right in mm. the middle of my arch. And just they go to attack the, the toes. They're, yeah. they're like, the second you put them on, they're like, now is our chance, boys. We will be at the front. And I'm like, no. They even have the ones that have like a rubbery thing for the back of your heel. Does nothing. Nope. They're like, no. cool, right? I think this is going to stop me. We belong in the front. I'm like, you don't belong in the front. No. You're a sock. <laughs> they're going to attack the toe. Dude, the second you let them free. Oh, bro. <laughs> Chaos <laughs> agents. And then you're trying oh, to man. fix it without taking your actual shoe off. So you just have like, uh, a finger in your shoe. Like, the like, worst. Yeah. yeah. What are you so, doing? You're like, I don't know. I, I, I wanted to wear socks, but I wasn't brave enough to not wear socks. And now I'm in this yeah. weird purgatory of not even having socks on because they won't stay on. Amen. I really hate how uh, relatable that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, B, I want to talk about this. Um, well, no, I want to keep talking about it. So you're in the industry now, right? So what has been, I mean, in the last eight years, what has been the weirdest thing that you've had to do? Uh, um, so for, for instance, <laughs> I'll just give you, give you, give you a, for instance here, this is what we're dealing with. Uh, probably about a year ago, uh, we had Miss Pandora on the show and uh, she's a dominatrix and is Ooh. paid to be a dominatrix. And she had a blind guy who paid her to film herself defecating. But just the sound of it, right? Because he's blind. So, yeah. So you don't have to get into anything special. But do you have a weird request that has been sent your way? Um, I have turned down the videos where where excrement is is a theme Good for um, you. so yeah. proud of you 
I mean, I'm not again not here to to yuck anyone's yum, but personally, like that's that's a hard no for me. Yeah, that's uh, not your gimmick. Yeah, I mean, you know, let me enjoy my peace and quiet in the in the bathroom. Right. Also, <laughs> it's like that's not what the girl that like the cute girl at the retail store that lives down the block. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't fit your demographic. You know, that's not you. Yeah, that's yeah. not you. That girl I mean, isn't. The, the... You know. Part of the appeal yeah. is because it's like, oh, is this so out of like character for her that that's why they want like that's why there's a fetish of it. Um, mm. But yeah, yeah, I would say that's I mean, probably like the the one that would be like the quintessential like out of line, you know, yeah. like, um, yeah, like request. That's a quick no, but then like people would be like, can you sit in cake and spin circular? Like, what? <laughs> like, I get a lot. Like that? I get a lot of requests where it's like, we want you to do like this, like, okay, in this five minute video, I need you to also, yeah, I need you to spread your ass this wide, and I need it to be at exactly this angle, at exactly this height, and I need you to touch yourself this way. And I'm like, no, that that stopped being Speak. fun. January thirteenth like, at two oh six p.m. <laughs> on a leap year. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. that sounds like work. Man, that <laughs> sounds like work, and that's that's. Uh, yeah. that's where but I you get to the yeah, third right detail, you're like, line. no, facing west. Did you ever have you any sex? It? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. I was Justin. gonna say, like, you send it, and they're like, you're clearly facing southwest in the video, and I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's exactly those kind of requests that I'm like, nope, I'm not, I'm not that much of a people pleaser. Yeah, I'm not getting like, a tape yeah. measure out to figure out how you want yeah. this completed. <laughs> I want to have yeah. fun while I'm fucking myself. Um, so we all? I'll pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Story of my life, right? Um, so, okay. So have you ever done like the sexting thing where it's like been like, all right, buddy, we're done here. You've gone way too far. Like, no? As far as like limits go or uh, like. Um, I like guess like the messaging. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Th there's absolutely people that get out of line or like try and push things um but i mean once you do this long enough what, you get a little better what would be like pushing the thing like what like i'm not usually submissive so people get like a little bossy uh, or demanding with me uh when i first like, started right, they, it. yeah pretty much i'm like no i'm not gonna do that um but we could do this instead or mm. I put on like the retail voice and like, like um, <laughs> you non redditors. There's like um, mi malicious compliance where like you are following every inquiry to to the letter, but you're doing so like oh I asked you to do this thing well I'll do this thing but I'll make sure that like no joy is being had with it. <laughs> I'll do it, but nobody's gonna like it. Yeah. yeah i mean if you're gonna oh, make this like again we're supposed to be having fun and like we're i'm selling uh or at least with sexting i'm selling intimacy um and like a good time so that good time should be mutual um yeah so people get otherwise you get the wrong yeah do you like have you ever had like a sexting situation escalate like from a client where you like wanted to meet them no. <laughs> no um i mean i've definitely had my share of like really awesome clients and like there's people that i've known for like eight years where i would consider like our relationship so like more towards friendship but nothing where i've been like oh my god i'm so horny for this like client uh, no offense to, to anyone watching <laughs> But I'm I'm very professional and have have always had professional boundaries there. Smart, hey, it's, it's the best way to do it. Very smart. So, okay, is that if you had a type of guy, B, what would you say your type of guy is? I like all types of guys. Um, the only ask is that they are passionate about something. Um, so it could be beating people up. It could be sports. It could be. What do you Being mean, really nerdy? people up? <laughs> I don't know. Like, Jerry, or like, yeah, like Reacher. Oh, okay. All right. I was going to say, I was like, so it's not okay to drown dogs, but we can beat people up now? Whoa, like, what's going on? Back on the dog. <laughs> I mean, oh boat shoes, God. it's not okay to drown boat <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Dude, 
Yeah, keep it up, Jack. B, Reach enough, it up. enough, B. Please, God. Stop bringing that up. B. Jesus, B. Why do you always <laughs> got to bring that up? Golly. Um, but either way, that all that stuff's got to be cut because that's just brutal. Uh, but either way, yeah, not B, so all wait. of us canceled, canceled by association. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. So B. What? So so you you just want a guy who's like, let me see, like. How important is it good hygiene to you with a guy? Oh, I would say that one's pretty important. Very important, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then as far as looks wise, like what are you looking for? Do you like him like, you know, like nerdy and like noodle or like you like a husky dude? Do you like like an athletic Everywhere dude? Everywhere in between. Everywhere okay. in between. You got between. You like, would you pick John Krasinski or what's the other big guy's name? Alan Richardson, I think his name. Yeah, is. between those two, what would you pick? Wait, who, what is he in? J- Jack Reacher or John Ryan? Oh, uh, I would pick Krasinski. Yeah, I would. Really? Pick yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah. Why? I mean, I wouldn't mind being sandwiched between the two of them. But... <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? You know. <laughs> no man, we're all there. I'm there for it. You know. But I think like. But- I don't know, sassiness. Like, I feel like I'm more attracted to Jack Ryan's character than Reacher's uh, character. Okay. But what? But, I feel okay. like Reacher is a little too black and white with everything, which kind of drives me crazy. But what is your deal breakers with dudes? Um, like, smoking? If, no, that's fine. Um, no. Cigarettes I mean, or weed? I mean, either is fine. I don't partake, but they can do whatever they want. Um, okay. The only, like, hard nose would be, like, just be a really crappy person. Um, mm. Someone who, like, would want to drown dogs. Um, oh, 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 <laughs> wow! Wow! Wow. And he, Great callback. And... Great callback, by the way, B. Fantastic. Um. And someone who's like really awful to service staff and tips. Back. Oh, that, that would drop like, legit. Just... I'm with you there. Not so much the drowning dog things, but I'm totally with you <laughs> on. <laughs> totally Two out with of three you. Isn't bad. Totally with you on if I honestly like I'll wait like I do like I don't know. I was in the service industry for such a long time that like even if it's bad service, I really don't care. Right. Like, and I'll still tip big. Like, I'm just not like the being disrespectful to your server or bar. Like, no, I'm like, nothing will make me angrier. You know? Yeah. And, and like, yeah. I know people will, like would be not mean, but like rude almost of like where you order at fast food. And I'm like, that person is going to handle your food. Oh yeah. my God. Why are you going to yeah. risk something like why that? Why would you be right. mean to them? Same thing at a yeah. restaurant. Like, people are like, excuse me. And I'm like, that's the person who's going to. Don't do that. Do it They're after you're done eating. On your plate. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're gonna, if you gotta be a dick, at least wait till they give you the food. Yeah. yeah. And don't do it when I'm with you, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want my food to get messed with either. No, I'm with yeah. you, B. I'm with you. Do you have a type of guy that hits on you like more? Do you think? Like, do you? Uh... Do you think you attract a certain type of guy? pretty all over the board um i would probably say that the ones i notice the most are is because i am also really big into photography and um oh, cool. kind of a gear nor- nerd um so especially like film cameras um, oh very cool yeah Did so fans huh i ca- i cannot i wanted to take a class but i didn't sign up in time and um but yeah i have a really good place um that does it for that the black room and all the chemicals and all that stuff I want and how to, it, yeah. hang it up and they it seems neat. yeah one of these days it's it's on my list of things i want to learn um yeah. even though i probably would be terrible because i'm actually really terrible at film photography um but oh, it's a I'm fun sure expensive that. hobby it's a very fun <laughs> Yo, very expensive. that i'll tell you expensive is for sure <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to cut back on some of those designer bags if you want to get into the photography game. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. It's... <laughs> Do they still develop? Like, you remember how there was like one hour photo development? Yeah. Well, they, can you still take like film to a place and they'll develop it? 
Like, I, I know think Costco's, God. some Costco's still do film okay. developing. I don't know. I haven't actually been to a Costco in years. Um, yeah. Because they all have the stations now where you, like, take your phone, plug it in, and you can, like, print out pictures off your phone, which makes sense. It's yeah. But they're actually developing a film. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. My place usually takes about two weeks. Oh. Huh? Wow. So, uh, back in my day, it used to be an hour. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, there's like only maybe three places that offer film developing that I'm aware of in the whole like Seattle area. Who needed right. their like, pictures in an hour? What was happening in the early '90s? Because that that's how you like, shared your memories. Yeah, yeah uh, it was like, like oh, getting... I went on vacation, and I want to show you about all. I want to show you how I swam with dolphins. <laughs> Give me sixty minutes. I'm going to show you the best pictures of dolphins you've ever seen. Yeah, no, actually. <laughs> But uh, like it just okay. never seems necessary. That's all. I mean, you know. Yeah. It's I mean, did really eight did eight minute abs seem necessary? <laughs> it's true. It was a thing. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. So oh, which okay. one was that? That was that cooking thing that was on late at night with the guy. I know I'm explaining this terribly, but it was like a almost like a rotisserie looking machine. That like mm. you press play and it would go for like six hours and set it uh, and forget it because it was a, like slow cooking but like rotisserie like yeah okay. yeah okay. Mm. yeah interesting all right very good thank you for that Justin uh, okay let's keep it moving we are coming towards the top of time uh, B I can't tell you how much Justin and I are in agreement with this but if you'd be willing we would love to have you back on the show if you'd be willing to come back on. Yes, absolutely. As long as no ha- dogs are harmed between now. No and dogs have ever been harmed. I've never harmed a dog. I never would harm a dog. No one's harming dogs. Boat shoes might get it. I'm just going to say. Okay, but, that's fine. Right. I can hurt some boat shoes. We're cool with boat shoes. But, Unless you're yeah. going on a boat or like a beach day or like, I don't know. What do people do over on that side of the world? Was it, you know, I feel like it's very sporty. On the on the eastern coast of the United States of America? <laughs> do a lot of the <laughs> same shit on the west coast. All right. No, they... no, really, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know the boat guys. No, I mean, we're in Philadelphia and the closest thing to us is New Jersey. And if you're going on a boat in New Jersey, it's probably because they're gonna whack you. So <laughs> you don't wanna you don't wanna be that time. guy. Also, yeah. I was in Jersey last week, and I went to oh. an amusement park. It was so fun. What amusement Six park? Flags? Yeah. Nice. What? Six Flags Great Adventure? I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. The one yeah. with the really, really tall roller coaster. Are they hey. those so you're they a big a fan of racer. roller coaster. Huh? Sorry. Go ahead, Justin. No, so it's the, was it the top drag racer. It just goes like straight up over and down and that's it right that's like the whole ride no no this one goes all it goes up like it shoots you up and then you it's the highest roller coaster that that i think that exists i don't know or at least it's in america or something i don't know it's something special and tall and then you go down and then you kind of go around in a circle and then it's over yeah it's it's like really fast it's the whole like thing of it is like four i think it's like 400 something feet yeah it's a tall boy um was it packed when you were there no, it was dead. I loved it. Damn, so you really made like a a whole like adventure out of your birthday week, huh? Yeah. I mean it's because I have like really good friends that like really wanted Sounds to make like sure it. I did all the things. And I was like, okay, who needs <laughs> to sleep? Yeah. What do your friends and your parents think about you being in the industry? Uh everyone is super supportive. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's I'm very, very fortunate. Did you ever have like an aunt or a grandma be like, man, if I had your tits, I'd be selling those things left, right, and center, you know? <laughs> well, I don't have an aunt or grandma that's still around, but oh. that does sound like something like my grandma could say. Yeah. I know yeah, she yeah. she probably wouldn't be surprised that, that I do porn. I mean, is why? Has that always been like your personality? Uh, I think my grandma thought I was a little bit of a slut, so. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, is that even a so. thing anymore? Do we still do the shaming thing? Like, well, I mean, this uh, is know. a woman who like who's like in her seventies. Different yeah. times. Well, she's, she's just jealous. One penis. 
Yeah, that's it. It was her you know, husband. I, I, I think she was a little bit of a slut back in the day too. <laughs> oh well, now it's like, well, you know, where I get projecting. it from Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, sorry, Grammy, if you weren't such a hose hound, you know. <laughs> but he said yes. Nancy Reagan was the throat goat. Like really? Like, yeah, it's like a big rumor. Yeah. I mean, Ronnie was That's a, a good piece. <laughs> That's another. I'll add that to my list of conspiracies. Ronnie was a good-looking piece, man. I mean, he was a movie star. He was the Gipper. He was a president. You know, I mean, if Hillary was throat goat, maybe she would have been president. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's very uh... true. Um. Either way. We don't talk about politics. So your parents and your friends and everyone are supportive. And so wait, your friends are on the East Coast and you're on the West Coast. Did you grow up on the West Coast? Uh, I grew up on the West Coast, but I, you know, have friends that have moved everywhere. Nice. Cool. Friends yeah. that you've known for a while. Oh, yeah. Friends that I've known since like my days as a early, early retail when I was just a baby. Before yeah. before you started selling your panties. Yes. It's always fun telling those friends. They're like, oh, yeah, you know what I do now? <laughs> How many of them are jealous that you're getting piped down by a monster hog? And they're like, yep, <laughs> I have to go to bed with Freddie tonight. I don't think there's anyone that's jealous. Everyone, actually, most of my friends, uh, yeah, most of them are all, like, happily married, about to have kids, already have kids. I think then maybe, they're like, definitely jealous for someone maybe. who has a kid and is married. They're <laughs> jealous. I think maybe they're just a little excited to like live vicariously through me and like hear, right. hear my drama and stories. Do you, so what's your dating scene? Like, do you still tell, like when you go to meet a guy, do you tell him like what you do like right away or do you wait or I, what's the deal? Yeah. My rule is tell him on the first date. Okay. Um, yeah. Have you ever had anyone be like, uh, see ya? So far, I've been fortunate enough to not have that happen. I've been a little yeah. worried. But, um, yeah, the most... I mean, it's been across the board. I've gotten things like like a guy just froze when I told him what I did. A guy asked me, like, do you like what you do? Um, someone and like making I... you do this you want me to save you have you seen taxi driver <laughs> i think i'm your hero now and then i had like one guy get like super excited like i want to see your videos <laughs> he's like one second i have to go to the bathroom oh my god oh guaranteed if you tell a guy that the next time he goes to the bathroom he's looking you up guaranteed also they probably all think they're gonna get lucky if you right like <laughs> is that what they think to like oh she's a porn star we're definitely gonna boosh tonight you know no because i'm really picky about who i who i actually uh, uh decide to sleep with right hey you know i mean you're maybe not they, for free anymore maybe <laughs> well i mean you know at least in our world we have to be very safe about things so oh yeah the testing is wild isn't it yeah that's nuts so you're an every two weeker right uh, I mean, I I do it based on like what my filming schedule is like. So, depending. We, I mean, yeah, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was like depending if I'm like lining stuff up, but yeah, yeah. I think I have a stretch. Like you know, you have like a bunch weeks. of shoots in a row. You're like, all right, boom, boom, boom. Let's get these knocked out, kind of thing. Well, yeah. yeah. Then I'll schedule it every two weeks. But if I have like a lull, then it's like, oh, I can take a break because I really hate getting my blood drawn and yeah. swabbing butthole. Is that what they do? They swab yep. your butthole? Yep. I didn't know that. Whose yeah, job is it to swab buttholes? Oh, okay, my we, God. We swab ourselves. No. But oh. still, you have to, like, awkwardly, like, get up there and, like, twirl it around to make sure you get, like, what they need. Um, Ooh, just the butt, not the veg? No, no, because that, that um, I guess, is close enough to, I guess, you know. They're they're testing like in a urine test, so that I guess doesn't by sound proximity right at all. I know. Yeah, they're neighbors. If it affects one house, it affects I the other know. house. I'm, <laughs> I'm probably like outing myself for being like really unknowledgeable, but I just I just do what the tests tell me to. 
But like, no, you're supposed to put the swab in your nose. How have you been doing this wrong all these years? <laughs> yeah. That one was also they did swab us because they were doing like COVID testing. Or yeah. no, I think that was covered by the throats. I don't know. There, there's just everything goes Throat everywhere. Search. Yeah. What um have you gotten a really good piece of advice from someone else that's been in the industry? Uh, or, like, do you have like a mentor in the industry? I wouldn't say I have a mentor per se, but like I absorb as much as I can from all of my peers. Um, uh -huh. And like, like just I love listening to like everyone else's thought process and like how they go about their workflow, how they go about their like creative flow. Um, mm -hmm. And just I mean, I can I can listen to people talk about what gear they use all day. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's any particular advice. Maybe the best thing that I've heard was kind of like, I don't know, allow yourself space to plan ahead um, for work-life balance. That is a good piece of advice. Yeah. No, yeah. I sure. mean, I wish I could say I was good at it, but I try. Hey, you're only, hey, you're getting better every day, you know? Trying. Trying to. So, okay, nice. And then what is the most awkward slash worst thing that has happened in your time in the industry thus far? Wait, most awkward, disgusting. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I don't know. Besides like your knees popping, but <laughs> I guess, I mean, I guess when things get really messy, unintentionally messy, um, is the only thing that I take issue with. How uh, can you give like uh, an example? Um, you know, when things are a little messy in the back end when you didn't intend them to be. So uh, maybe a little bit more prep work in the future. Yeah, <laughs> that old chestnut. <laughs> We had um we've had a couple people on here recently uh, uh Colby Jansen and uh, Savia Demonia and they both said that Emodium's your friend and that you you know if you're going to be playing in I uh, need to li listen to Sabian more. Yeah. She's awesome. Um but yeah. Uh yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, Emodium. And then but I mean <laughs> I don't, I mean, I hope he doesn't hear this because then we'll nonstop fuck. He's back. We're not talking about this anymore. Oh, no. Nope. What are we talking about? Fine, fine. You want to talk about it, Justin? Well, yeah, we can talk about it. Let's talk I about it. I never let you talk, talk about, about poop. We're supposed to rap like 10 minutes ago, and now you're going to bring up poop? Poop. All right. Well, when you come back, way, we're going to talk well, about poop. But, yes. Sa Sabi and De when Sabi and Demonia was on the show, she talked, she stressed the importance of Imodium, but. She said, beware of Imodium farts because she said they are <laughs> that was I want that's what I wanted to tell you, but I didn't want Justin to get on his fucking poop train. Okay? Because he knows I don't like that word. <laughs> I know. I Matt, word. Matt doesn't like poop the word poop. It's fun. It's cute. Everybody poops. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. All right. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> B, that wasn't directed at you. That was directed at him. Okay, you're lovely. <laughs> you're absolutely lovely, Tim. He knows what yeah. he did. I know. So either way, let's keep it on moving. Keep it on moving down the road. As Justin pointed out, we are coming towards the top of time. B, you've been absolutely lovely, and we would love to have you back on the show. Um, but before we get out of here, uh, we just like to stress that in the description of this episode, we'll have a link to all your socials. And then we'll also have a link to your website, which is beyork.com, uh, where you can find all your videos, your OnlyFans, your clips, your uh, your Pornhub page, your model page, everything like that, right? Yep. Beyork.com okay. has, has the important stuff. Beyork.com. And make or sure you could you just Google me. I'm really easy to Google. Yeah. And then make sure you subscribe on Twitter and Instagram at ubyork. B, anything you would like to say to your friends, family, and anyone watching before we uh, and your fans? Um, well, uh, gosh, again, put on the spot and I don't know what to say. Um, thank you for listening to this fun little episode. Um, and thank you guys for having me. Um, please just keep uh, consuming my 
content in any capacity that you see fit. Um, and um, I don't know, give yourself grace and, and uh, do great things. That's, wow. that's my advice. I mean, as far as improv went, you nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> you know, that was just off the top of the dome. Fantastic stuff. Do you have anything up and coming that we should be looking forward to in the future, B? Um, well, the guess the biggest thing is that if you're um, subscribed to my OnlyFans or you follow me on like Twitter or clip sites, specifically probably like many vids, you'll be seeing that I'm releasing a lot more boy girl content. Um, so that's if that's your jam, um, it's all been so good and so hot. And I'm glad to do more, more um, work. Uh, and just with I don't know awesome awesome talent. Who's so. the talent that you've worked with? Um, a few people. Did, did you do something? Did you do something with Andre Stone? Yeah. Oh, um, we had him on the show. Done, we've done a couple things actually. He is so he was awesome. We had him on the show. He was so much fun. I felt so bad because when we first met, uh, we were actually doing a video for four play films. Um. And I, I, I love our video concepts so much. I was the photographer. Andre was my model. I guess I shouldn't give away more of the plot because that one isn't out yet, but I can't wait until it is. Um, but when I first met him, he was like, he like walks in the, the studio and I'm like, wow, you're so tall. He's like, hi to you too. <laughs> like, oh gosh, I'm that annoying girl that like said something stupid. But, um, yeah, my video with Andre, uh, another one that we did where I played Velma. Um, was oh, my first, I saw a picture of that. That release. was so cool. And, yeah, it was so, so cute. I am just, yeah, Andre was. You really, you like, so like, like as far as the costume go, you nailed it. You look just like her. Ah, thank you really you. did a good I job. I mean, it's there. really easy. <laughs> You gotta get the oranges though. It's gotta be two different oranges. Yeah, no. If you see the pic, she was like spot on Velma from Scooby Doo. It was pretty cool. Yeah. You did a good it job. Was... Thank and you, you filmed that with Andre Stone. Yes. Yeah. I filmed he was it. a I mean, super I... cool guy. Yeah, he is. I yeah. yeah I love Andre. I hope I should yeah, message was... him and see if he wants to shoot with me again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you guys want to come on the show together too, we'd love to have you. He was so much Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. But uh, what and then okay, so we'll have so okay, and like we said, make sure you subscribe and find all that stuff. Links will be in the description of this episode. How tall are you, B? Five two. Oh, damn! So you're short. So yeah, a lot of oh, people shit. Sorry, tall. sorry, sorry. That's I'm the annoying what you just, guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what no, people think guy. I'm you must... tall. I'm like, no. I you wouldn't have guessed you were five two. I mean. Come but back. you know just but thick. tall i mean short girls are the best everybody knows that uh okay let's keep it moving then so b thank you for that justin anything you want to say before we get out of here i would what did you say give yourself grace i like that I'm gonna, that was pretty cool i'm gonna start saying that yeah <laughs> give yourself some grace I mean, Matt. just just, just give yourself be kinder grace. to yourself <laughs> yeah why not yeah be good this was fun come back and there's too many scars yeah. guards so yeah. many scars guards too many too many awesome all right well speaking of scars guards this has been another episode of the working perspectives podcast i'm matt lavelle he's jade of justin richmond and our guest today is the one and only b york in case you're wondering you can find all our stuff and all our content and all podcast platforms and youtube at work perspectives podcast you can also on instagram at work perspectives podcast and join us on twitter and tiktok at working pod and if you'd like to be a guest on the show please email us at work perspectives gmail.com and please like and subscribe so we keep bringing this sweet sweet content thanks for listening and we'll catch you next time thanks see you